It better be Blockbuster because I'm looking for an exciting first map of Counter-Strike. We just left it on overtime. Maybe we don't need to start it there, but let's I mean, start with some fireworks. Yeah, I was messing around. I didn't want to see an Inferno, but it does show up, and that is because Fnatic, a no slouch upon it, and a different ban. Chad anticipating this one to be nowhere near the maps available for picking in that second phase. Up mid they go, and wow, Flush has just used his tiny dot crosshair to take the head off of Poison. Oh, Config's dead as well, and... Yikes, this one is looking done and dusted before we even get going. Bomb will go down. JKS pushing Banana. Blame rotating through Spawn. Going to meet up with... Oh, Druff and Blame and Spawn. JKS dinked. He's going to fall. Brolin finds another. And that's round one on the board for Fnatic. I think Armor and holding onto that kit for Rush and Blame should be name of the game. All right, we should just call it. Yeah, obviously Fnatic going to win this. Let's go to Mirage. Yeah, let's just skip it. All right. <sighs> but jokes aside, they will preserve. And that's going to be a very important kit. Flash and Kevlar vest. They won't be needing to reinvest. Yeah, I'm just interested to see where they use JKS, right? Because this setup, obviously Poison will be your outside player and you want him to be a little bit more in flux. You can send him over to B when he has a good spawn to go for some banana control. Uh, but here, if you're going to... Uh, look, you would, I think you would have confused Fnatic by leaving Inferno through as well. They don't know what to prepare for. This right. is not a map that we've seen them play with JKS. It's not a map that we've seen them play since ESL 1 Cologne, which was uh, at this stage 10, 11 weeks ago. So it's been a long time since Complexity have played this one in an official capacity. You can see immediately buying in with the Force Buy will be the likes of Config and Blame F. Utility behind that as well. Smokes being prioritized is something I always like to highlight here on the CT side of a map like Inferno. If you use your smoke towards top banana and top middle, uh, you're able to really whittle down that clock. And you can see that you know, Deagles and one P250 in the hands of JKS. Poison not opting in with armor. Wants to get that AWP out on the first gun round, which if they lose this one, will not be until round four. Fnatic, default spread across the map within the early stages here and just feeling each other out. This is just a couple of early jabs to see if anybody's home. So yeah. There hasn't been any pressure just yet. Applied. I will say Fnatic have got quite a uh, luxury on their T side, which is that they can basically count on Flusher to single-handedly get banana control. Get banana control. Yep. Like he will do that. And I know, yes, against pistols and smokes, it's not that much of an achievement. But watch as this game continues and watch as Flusher does the job of often three people. The nade stack does soften them up. That's a bit sketchy. And they choose to back away. I want to see how Complexity deal with the arch-sided smoke that comes out from Fnatic time and time again. It's, it's not this one. It's a little bit deeper on the regular basis. But right now, Config, he's got a lot to do. Yeah, and he's actually tucking into apps. He wants to try and deny. Oh, Poison. Poison needs something. It's not enough. Back turned. Overwhelmed. And a very clean round from Fnatic. There you go. Fishing at B. Stack nades come out. They swarm up middle. Yeah, quick reaction there. The fact that they didn't hesitate, they just went smoke the arch side, let's drop that moto smoke, straight up quad, trade off of each other. Poison just getting caught by that flash, may have been able to have a little bit more impact. And now Flasher actually wants to take away some of this saved armor and carry it across pistols. If they're able to remove any of these and keep it clean, it'd be a fantastic round from Fnatic. Means going into the next, it will just be the USPs, but JKS Jiggles spots Flasher. And Jiggles again. So both teams here. Probably going to call this one off now that JW has been chunked on down to 45 points of health. Even gives a love tap to Flusher there. Give well, him one. Give one him of one. my favorite relationships in CS is Flusher it's and great. JW. Yeah, these guys, for those who maybe a little bit newer to Counter-Strike, the very first CSGO major we had was Dreamhack Winter of 2013 in a little town called Yonshiping. And JW and Flusher, they were part of the Fnatic team back then. It was the likes of Pronax, that Schneider, and uh, the man I can never forget devil walk he pulled his pants down after they upset nip who were the gods of the game at that point and that's where uh, i guess the, the history of csgo's major started so we get back underway here with round number three the saved pistols carried across and finding damage jk strikes flusher goes down that's a ump on the floor Golden. He is going to be flashed out. JKS yes, actually gets two from that. A triple kill total, but a double on that P250 swing. Rush's flash has done so much. If they had a smoke, a nade not bad either. F deters Crims. Brolin charging up to gain some sort of control, some sort of idea as to how they turn this one around. But complexity. One failure. JKS makes his P250 sing. Oh, Brolin hasn't been spotted here. 
And Juzzy caught off guard now. Access to the site. Need to clean it up. Nice work from Poison, but there's a second. Crim's now into the site, and he's got the bomb. Surely not a 1v3. It's almost set up for it. The fact that they are either wounded or unarmored. The only weapon on an unarmored config, aim punch, would give Crim's an advantage. Oh, and he's oh, coming man. from behind. He's crawling. He's creeping. He's got backs turned behind him. Oh, but config checks. And that's complexity. Successful in converting and taking all three AKs into the next as well. That's a very nice shift in momentum. Huge stuff right there. Rush, what do we say after a round like that one? Juzzy! There you go, mate. You've uh, You're You're drinking teaching the Kool-Aid. So <laughs> this is huge impact frags right there. I think there's no other way to put it in config. Finding the final blow there onto Crims and a bit of a giggle as uh, the clutch potential of this team. And obviously, I'm getting a little bit biased, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's unfortunately just going to be that way. But the clutch potential of somebody like Blame F now being met with JKS in their matches, especially the Vitality game. Hold up. Let's keep our eyes on Poison here. It's better at going wide. Fnatic have been able to get a buyback on the board. It will be a Galil for Flusher. Everybody else with the AK-47s. And Banana Control now being taken. Blame F peers forward, wants to take a bit of a fight. Ooh, Flusher once again, <laughs> holding banana. Begins whatever Cole can throw it in, but it is going to be the arms test for Config. He's got the perfect position for a one-tap headshot, disappearing. But that's enough. Try and drop off. They spot him. He drops his smoke, and Brolin actually gets it. The circle strafe works out, but the trades are equal. The bomb's loose on the balcony now, and Config trying to draw the fire of Brolin. He does actually convert the frag, and now things will slow down. JW needs to retrieve the bomb. So paranoid about the flank at this point. Couple of speculative shots. Crim's working up short. If he can find enough, if he could find config, rush. Shots, Crim's working up short. If he can find enough, if he could find config, rush. One of the two. Oh, he's taken Juzzy, the third. And now Config peeks oh. into Crim's aim and it's so spicy. All three. Sensational from Crim's. As he takes very short shots. Couple of bursts each. And three bodies hit the deck. It was very sharp stuff from Crims there. And Fnatic on the back of a big round, they're going to take a timeout. So let's check this one out again. JKS, one HP rotating enough to the trade in Banana. That shot onto Config. He did not even consider firing a second oh. bullet. And then Rush, what can you do? Decapitated as well. Huge round there. 2v3. That's, that's really going to put question marks in complexities camp because you can see here JKS with 3,400. He's going to go into a UMP. Poison only has 1,900. They could drop him, but that means that somebody like Rush would be operating with very little. Config and Blame have bought themselves. There's still discussion going on right now of what they're going to buy right for Poison or Rush. Poison CZ. Rush has gone into the M4, so it looks like they're prioritizing utility here and maybe map control. The CT sided all can be deadly. But Fnatic, with that round, they will be back on the winning streak. 3-1, to one, their map choice, and I'm sure it came as a surprise to them. I think they would have been expecting this. And JKS, clean run down. How banana. much? Look how much flame there was on the floor. There's no way for them to peek banana. Config stands his ground on long. An early test from Brolin. He's ahead of their smoke now. Very much so. Tucked into the corner. Rush, a crossfire established on this arch side, and Fnatic want to test it. Golden and JW dipping their toes into the water, and that's the sound cue he needed. Config gets two. Colossal as he exits from the cubby. Three corpses already on this long corner, and it could be a fourth. It is. He's flashed himself. Flush up. Not flawless this time, and Crim's well. It was very impressive. A 1v3, essentially, with JW watching. Well, now he's got to do one better, a 1v4, and nobody to assist him. Poison's going to flank him here through Boiler if he's not careful. Just slipped out of Boiler now in top mid. It's only a matter of time until... Look at this. The whole squared. Fnatic squad's about to die in a one-meter square radius. 
Okay, well, that smoke that Crims was just limping out there, you're going to see it bloom on your radar top left. I want everybody to remember that one because Fnatic, they use that to exploit on their T side, the mid to Bs. That smoke that you see landing, that will obscure the vision as we get some lovely highlights here of config uh, towards library. So it forces your arch defender to play over towards Speedway or CT spawn, meaning he can't help out that A defense. Or if he gives up that side, it will allow an avenue for mid to be forcing a B rotation. So those are details that we need to keep in mind as the game progresses. But Fnatic now will be down to the pistols themselves. And it's an all-in force by all the pennies spent here. Deagles, CZ, we got some Tech Nines in the mix and utility. This time round, Flusher won't be gifted banana control, held at bay. Lots of utility being dumped, and JKS with that UMP wants to try and find space again. Up close and personal, the armor pen on that one will come in handy against this buy from Fnatic. Yeah, you're bang on, and they're actually re-smoking, hoping that that gray screen and the suppressing shots are huge. Okay. Oh, the chaos. JW's actually taken a teammate down, and it's a complete and total shutdown. JW on minus one. Well, that force by fell very, very flat as Fnatic will have to take a save at this point. Who was it at the top of Banana? Because, yeah, Blame F starting to unload his M4 was just the perfect pairing to JKS's position. It stops the certainty. It stops four people all looking one way. Enables the multi-kill. Really good stuff. Look at the average damage he did there. Rather just damage, excuse me, 280, practically three kills from Blame there. Dink into the third. I think it's finished off by JW. <laughs> Yeah, it is interesting to note. I wonder if this spells a move away from Vertigo from complexity, because it's a map where they've had their ups and downs. Definitely some woes on it in recent times. And JW sitting at minus one. This is how he gets his first win. Plays knots and crosses, but no one's willing to participate. Flusher, come on, mate. Told you they were friends. Yeah, here you go. Now, this is the thing. Crims as well. He's part of this crew. Okay, quick Always response from Flusher. Now thinking about his next move. Oh, and it's a quick flick. Looking to block it off, and nice anticipation. Quick response, looking for the triple diagonal move, but Flusher, well handled. Crims observing. Oh, referee. It's a thumbs up. That'll be the tie. Dead heat. Well, they're going again. JW. Ah, oh, okay. Well, you guys, you had time for one more. No, Rush Lee. Rush wants to walk home tonight. Which was more grating, my casting or that bell? I think it's a close one. And now, well, they are all leaving spawn in a body bag. Flush is the only one yet to be zipped up. There we go. Config the one to solve the mystery. Even upgrades his FAMAS to an M4. So everyone's a winner. They did lose two players, though, at the end of that one in the chaos. Complexity 4, Fnatic 3, first map, second series of IEM Beijing. And this is a replay of that dead heat. Look at the quick shot from JW, but Flusher was quick to respond. And you can't deny the fact of the matter. These guys clearly level pegging in their uh, prowess in the Norton Crosses. Just a quick one for everybody at home. The reason I'm a little bit baffled to see Vertigo get removed is because Complexity and Fnatic played in IEM New York on Vertigo. And it was 16-14 win to Fnatic, but that was with Nader Safix. That wasn't with JKS. So obviously a map that... Uh, they're not feeling comfortable with here today, well, or one like you. Well, this is what I'm saying. Counter strat a lot harder. There's, there's, there's two out. There's two uh, two angles you can think about. I mean, everyone knows that if you leave Inferno, especially if it's your bloody perma ban against Fnatic, you're gonna get it. But I don't know. I'm very intrigued to know if we do get a winner's interview or an interview all the same, just to find our answers. But I think if they can limit Fnatic to six T rounds, maybe seven T rounds. They've probably had a decent haul. I just think Fnatic in their mid rounds on this T half are phenomenal. Just the way that their natural chem from playing together for so many years, especially the core of Crims, Flusher, and JW work off of each other, can be very hard to stop, very hard to stifle. Yeah, and then you throw in those three names you mentioned with Golden, who I've, I'm actually glad I've managed to mention before he does something ridiculous instead of afterwards. <laughs> uh, but I think a CZ at some point. Yeah, I just want to kind of consider my, my read of Golden and his play for Fnatic is he's always good. Like, he, he's not going to be at the top of the scoreboard, but impact frags are, are often hard to quantify, and I think Golden's often good for them. Takes initiative. He reads the game at a slightly higher level than his... Uh, teammates and look at the space he's just just as i'm talking about it he's found blame f and now they flank into a lone jks that should be it but juzzy says no he's found the first if he gets a second it's game on but it's not and now the save call likely to be made there's three cts and they're all the way at a jw's already accelerating down banana he knows this is around one poison murders a chicken innocent 
All right, well, at the end of this one, when the bomb does go off and we see how many guns get carried through, Poison making sure he doesn't lose his just yet. Uh, we're going to be highlighting that smoke because I wanted you all to keep your eye on it earlier and Golden used that to success. And I want to point out why it's such a potent smoke to be used time and time again. Something that Fnatic are great at is getting banana and brackets control. And then this one smoke that they drop over towards arch side that you're about to see, uh, what it does to the CTs is it puts them in a very weird position. Uh, bomb's about to go off. We'll be jumping into Skybox any second now. And check this out, right? So you can see Poison, he's the Arch Defender. The smoke is about to get thrown from Brolin, who's back here. It's a jump smoke, and you're going to see it land right here. Now, the question is from Poison, if he wants to rotate around, I have to go through Library and now defend through the Arch position. But what actually happens here is Blame comes around and that isolates JKS over towards the site. If Blame kills Golden, yeah, that's fine. But the problems here are now you have isolated jewels. Blame in a one-on-one, -on -one, JKS now having to deal with the B push and Poison's actually tucked into the site. So he can't even rotate quickly all because of this one smoke. So this is something that we need to keep our eye on as a timeout has been taken from Complexity and they're probably going to talk through similar options. Mm. They need a way to deal with this. And is it once we lose that side, are we going to push through, our, like we're going to drop our own aggressive smokes and try and push through, take a couple more fights. Are we going to give them CT spawn and hope that we can hunker down on the bomb site with the likes of JKS and Blame F? You get Poison Zorp, boys. Fist in the air for that one. It's been a while coming. Haven't seen too much impact from it, but this is up against the or practically a full buy. Golden's not going to get any util with it. Oh, I lie. He already had his Kevlar vest, so he is, for lack of a better word, Gucci. Five AKs. Odds from GG.bet leaning in favor of complexity in the same way we were, despite the turf, despite everything we know about what Fnatic are capable of. So very high expectations for a new roster. Oh, what was that? Oh, uh, that was something. Config so low, down to 17 from the wall bang. What was that incendiary? I'm so confused. I'm trying to like think about what it could possibly be achieving. I've got nothing. This could be an easy frag and it is, Brolin has to focus on Boiler as the potential and, well, pick your poison, he's gone. So one option for that, that Molotov is the sound cue, with it being so deep they wouldn't expect players forward of it. That's one option because they were going for yeah. an aggressive maneuver. Yeah, I'm sure. And if you're an apps player, maybe that makes you a bit more lackadaisical. You knife out to try and punish. Still, here we go. JKS. Oh, wow, that was neat. That was tidy and that was the only man ahead of the pack. Now he's got a flash and a smoke to deploy. Keeps them at bay even further. Repositioning on the smoke. Gets the headshot with the spray. Great play. He knows there's another. Tucked in on oranges is JW. He's the last man. And he's been reported missing. Great moves from JW. He's isolated one. And does he get he's got the bomb. He's actually gotten away with the bomb. A one versus four. Config's very quick. He needs to get there now, though. He's low on HP. If JW gets this kill, it becomes a 2v1. He started this round with minus one. Now he's looking to leave with four. Rush coming up from the library. Checks it. And JW's reacted. He didn't even lose much health. Config's low. This is starting to look winnable. JW, will he expect the close corner? He's pre-aiming it. He's he checked it. He spots him. Oh, but Config slides out. A real chance for Fnatic there. Denied by Config. Five to Complexity. Four to Fnatic. This first map is going back and forth. I don't think we've seen anyone string together more than three in a row. And this is what I mean about Fnatic, right? That was a round that felt like it was done and dusted. But look how slimy JW is. And I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. He's able to get himself into the back lines there, find a gap, find a frag, do economical damage, and almost put himself in a winnable one-on-one. -on -one. They will be down to these pistols. Complexity have a chance now to take a bit of a breath, but it feels like there's pressure at all times from Fnatic. No, no, no. Yeah, you can stop poison, just consider it for a second. He's like, I know who I'm against. And he's doing that to me. Not interested. Not interested in the slightest. It's not a duel that favors him. We might see Fnatic in future rounds start accelerating their pace over towards A. There's a bit of an affinity right now from Complexity to be going for the three-man B lean with those deep incendiaries. So if Fnatic want to change the pace and go for something a little bit more brawly over towards A, a couple smokes towards top mid with flashes over the top, and they might be able to find themselves uh, a quick plant onto that A bomb site. But Flusher killing the chickens, he always seems to have that stat line quite high. I think he probably now that he's seen it is there's certain websites that track like funny stats and I guess killing chickens is a funny stat. He goes out of his way probably to uh, kill as many as he can, but bro, that's a fantastic trade. It's not bad and it does give them a route into B. JKS is going to be the one to consider that. Tucks back in after their aggressive banana hole. Blame has that though, so 
It's just the three deagles, the three musketeers. <laughs> and that weapon's not going to be retrieved without a fight. There it is. JW tried to get his hands on that lovely, attractive poison AWP. Ooh, good jiggling. That's JKS trying to keep them at bay. Doesn't want to overcommit to this duel, but does want to keep them honest. That's the bomb he's keeping at bay. But slipped? He has slipped the net, and well, he considers it enough to control the round. Six found by complexity, and just as I mentioned that no one's got three in a row, they're on to do it. Again, five, six, and seven all went complexity's way. This is poison locking down long. Config stopping GW from being as slippery as he has been previously. And JKS is off to a flying start. 11 to his name already. Remember the impact he had with the three poo, 250 kills and banana as well. So uh, good stuff here within the early stages. And something to consider about the growth of JKS is he has been doing the lion's share of his play in professional CSGO in North America. He now gets to play on European soil 24-7. Now, this is where the big boys play, and if he's able to have similar numbers as what he did when playing in NA, then that could be a scary, scary sign going forward. Now, the guns are back out. JW has the AWP. Passive towards Banana this time, not fighting for control. Uh, opting for Boiler and Halls and Crimson Brolin. Oh, well, doesn't get cleaner than that one. A shot. Disappears. He's practically already leaving after he's fired the first bullet. Complexity, just individually. Going to be one of the teams to beat. Brolin, one of the most exciting individuals in the Fnatic jersey, truly. A rising star. Oh, but oh Config's having a perfect round. Give him the ace. <laughs> it's denied by JW, but the round is won. A quad kill from the Dane. Magnificent stuff. JW gets nothing out of it. And the seventh for Complexity, but Config, he started that one with style and he finishes it as well. Now, I don't know if that smoke from Fnatic was intentional or not, but regardless, Confident One, two, punished. three ADR, 337 damage. It was poetic. Look at this multi-kill just as they start to leave. They were slightly staggered, but he doesn't let them move, doesn't let them leave, and it's all headshots as well. His aim is on point today, Config, oh, having a mad one. That's lovely. Okay, well, Fnatic have already called their second tactical timeout, and we're... Only 11 rounds of play in, so having a couple of wobbles and woes here, and we did mention and we touched on day one within our storylines, the fact that Swedish Counter-Strike, they don't seem like trophy contenders at the moment. I'd call them the, you know, playoff gatekeepers. Uh, that's probably a very good way of placing them, right? I think the experience with Fnatic, you can poise them in a different light to how we would NIP, but this team, they have the pieces of the puzzle. They have exciting individuals. Krim still con continuing to be a star player alongside of Brolin. They play off of each other very well, always seem to make these scrappy rounds that we're about to see come onto the board at least work or be dangerous. And then when the games, when the tournaments, when they heat up, that's when this team gets better and better. But we call Fnatic the entertainers. We certainly do. And for very good reason. So they're, yeah, they're really opting for this triple. Oh, oh, Poison previously tried to avoid that fate. This time, a nade is what leads him to his demise. He just extends just enough. He won't do that again. Never again. JW punishes him. And this is where Fnatic rounds can start to happen. Fnatic rounds, for those uninitiated, it involves... Nothing. Pistols, a Kevlar vest, a single nade, a couple of Molotovs, and they can overcome a full buy. And it starts with the loss of an orc, just like that. Brolin deterred by the flames. Rush yet to frag. Haven't seen his action as he's been floating around. Just zero and two so far. That didn't sound right. I don't want to fact check that myself. What the bloody hell? Did he reconnect? Rush is zero two. Still, pistols are charging in. That's the bomb. Nice delivery from JW. They are all into the pit, and that trajectory is enough for Config to solve that mystery. Blame. Tapping away. Oh, golden long range tech nine. Maybe a second frag could be on the cards, but it's only Crims. Time for Rush's first. Oh, never mind. That's been denied in the P250. I've had enough of these highlights today. Crims, he's got himself a fresh one. He's looking for the head. One bullet would do it. Config's playing very conservative, waiting for JKS to join him. He knows the push is coming in. Multiple targets overwhelmed. And well handled, eight to four. I like the tenacity to take the fight there from Complexity. A lot of teams would just play safe and allow him to whittle down the jewels and see if he can eventually land a lucky shot. But they went, not. we're taking the fight to him. We're getting stuck in. And by doing that, they've been able to get that all back for poison. So all in all, Complexity, they've posted eight. I said limit Fnatic to six or seven. 
they're able to get double digits on their CT side. We're going to see clear indication of why, but look what Crims has purchased, Alex. I'm not sure we've seen too much competitive Whoa. Krieg play in the tier ones. So this is interesting. I, I want to see how he applies this. Traditionally, Crims is doing the default into halls. Okay, config's been spotted. Might think better at hanging around now that that Krieg's in play. That wall bang as well going to be more potent. JKS has been tagged on up towards top banana. We'll have to drop back. 37 points of health for him. And now Fnatic, they have one piece of the puzzle. Brackets control comes next. If they he... can keep them under six, said Virgil. Yeah. Well, they built a bank, so they'll be able to go for the rebuys. As soon as complexity find this ninth, that will be denied. Or at least a lot less likely. Fnatic have spent all their schmeckles. 3,400 into the next. Oh, he's got the wall bang. He's got config on his toes. Brings him down to 65. But look, that spurs him in to the apartments, not out. Yeah, Config's playing very confident Counter-Strike here today. More than happy to take a duel. And look at this setup. They've actually completely given up the arch side. Nobody's watching whatsoever. Blame kind of has to limp on in and check every now and again. Poison flashed off, re-peeking in. Has the line. Is he going hunting? Oh, his timing feels right. His timing feels good. JW is there, though. It's all about his decision making, JW, finally. Patience is rewarded and they're charging up long. Rushed on Graveyard is going to have to find a oh! multi. Oh, he does transfer nicely. Gets two, needs a third. Crims is low, flushes health, full health. And he's found the necessary frag. They have the sight and JW wants to catch him, but it costs him his life. A tag with the scope, a quick adjustment. Makes a 2v2 and an awkward one at that. Chad, help me. This is tough. Flush is tucked in towards halls, but this is where Blame's coming. Will he clear this corner? Will he expect Flush to have regressed into halls? Not so sure already. The Fnatic frags come in. One apiece. And they'll take their fifth. They'll take it by force. Whew. I thought Rush did enough to bail them out there. If he got that third, third man, yeah, that dude. was a sick spray down. Look at the line up there. The dink as well. And AK, he probably converted all three right there. And there's Flusher with the final frag. You can see both of those kills coming through with assists. A little bit of a frustration. Poison not being able to find too much impact with the AWP right now, but that setup was very risky for him complexity. No eyes on Arch, more than happy to allow them to wrap. In my head, Cannon, that was Krims reaching for a fist bump and then realizing <laughs> where he, uh, oh, where he was. Oh, oops. Oh, oh, through the flames. JW takes a risk. And he goes Orp v Orp. Mano el Mano. Poison sent to the death realm. I love this call there, just so quickly back towards A. Knowing that Poison is traditionally an A defender, Rush has a lot to do, so does Config. Yeah, and Golden draws their cross there. He can't even finish the job, but Rush can. Again, just short of the mark he needed. Three would have been dreamy. Blame's got a lot of work. He's not now. even looking. What? He doesn't see it at all. Brolin has all the time in the world to line up that headshot. And just as we thought, Complexity were going to be leaving with quite the, the large margin at the end of this half. The pivot to the A hits and two successful A hits in a row has led them here. Six found. And Poison's been opening deaths in both of those occasions. Once Touché. towards uh, quad side and now once towards top banana. He only has five kills to his name. And it feels with how potent these rifles are being. He doesn't even need to search for these AWP kills. So it's been a little bit unfortunate. I understand why they want to get him activated. He's such a force to be reckoned with. But uh, unable to convert after Poison going down his complexity. And they will be eight to six as the scoreline here. Once again, blindsided us on the desk with the veto. Traditionally, we'll be banning out Inferno. Have left it open against Fnatic, one of the best Inferno teams. Traditionally, historically, within the realms of Counter-Strike. So they've uh, definitely given themselves a task. If they want to win, they're trying to do it in style here today. In the final round of play for the first half, round number 15, we'll see a suboptimal buy. Config yeah. onto the Deagle, a UMP, poison onto a scout, and uh, we don't see this every day of the week, an MP5. Hell yeah. Rush, Rush bringing it back. MP5. A very underutilized weapon. One of the least seen, actually, of all the weapons. And I'm probably alongside the MP7, I think, of the two least, yeah. least bit seen weapons in pro play. Let me think. We don't see a lot of the... Yeah, we don't see a lot of the... P90. The Nova. Nova. If any Valve devs are listening and want to make sure they're perfect game where every weapon's viable. When that update Rush was telling us about earlier oh, yeah. comes on through. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. With 128 tick servers, right, Rush? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this new totally. AK, actually, it's really cool. I think it's called the Vandal or something. I think, yeah, and it has a scope. I heard so, yeah. yeah. You can, like, right click. That has a laser pointer on it, too. Pretty cool. If you put it in the eyes of the CTs, you blind them. 
Anyway, JKS defending B solo with a flashbang. So it's going to have to be a retake on the B site. And Fnatic look like they're retooling over towards uh, the side. Chad, do you forget who you're talking about? Yeah, but I, it doesn't matter. Like, he's good. He's not that good. Yeah, the bomb's at T spawn, though. So if Poison and JKS can just destabilize this enough. It's only a scout, but okay. it doesn't stop him. Peeks in. And another from Poison. Why he's he been so quiet. Why doesn't he use the $1,700? 1700? Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. 1700 scout. Works wonders. Rush has got himself a nice MP5 frag as well, and why not? This round's practically spotless. Fnatic caught out. Rush, good moves. You're making the oh. MP5 sing. Give him the triple. It'll be the UMP to finish. Blame F's the one wielding it, and JW with 37 points of health does flush him out, but we have our 9 6 half. Keep him under. Well, bang on. Conversation for the second half, and it will continue after a short break. then let's see what Fnatic have got in store for us on inferno ct side and i will remind you that this conversation all started about the map itself we were surprised to be seeing it expecting to see the perma ban of complexity continue instead they catch us off guard they do get Fnatic's pick they chose to take it here and they managed to hang with the swedes nine rounds posted on the defense chad when i asked him as to their chances you you said you gave a rough ballpark figure of trying to keep them under six to keep it competitive. Well, they're on the number. 
It's nine to six. And I think it was a good half from both teams there. We saw some great moments from JKS in the early stages. Crims, Crims had that clutch as well. Their decisiveness to rotate between the bomb sites was great from the Fnatic side. Looks like Rush has got an upgrade and JKS has been downgraded yeah. to Rush's old place. I was talking to him about it. I think they're going to get into somewhere a little bit bigger <laughs> soon. So uh, maybe Rush has made the move initially. Just going to... Scouting it out. Putting his toes in the water as the GG dot bet odds here do favor complexity quite heavily. You can see the Julies for Brolin. He's not actually using them oh, in banana. So that's deliberate. unusual. Normally we see them over towards the banana position with a flash. JW, um, I know you're cheeky, mate, but you can only hang around there for so long. So after taking a couple of pot shots, not getting any damage done, he's going to dip on back. And now banana is where complexity ahead. Flush towards the top will be flashed off the line. Oh, flash is no good. Ooh, okay, so this feels like an great acceleration. Going in. Be, yeah, Poison does get chipped away at. Config does very well to fa find the clock headshot. And actually pressuring Golden off the line, it enables Rush to throw the molly off. And now they've got space, they've got time to plant. This is great from the T side. I can't believe Config is still contesting at 20 HP. He's everywhere and nowhere. And here comes the retake, folks. Four members of Fnatic all gathering the resources. Make it three. Golden loses his head. It's the armor. Julies, they can't find the shot. Config still finding some way to com contribute despite being down to 20 from the very start. Finally, he catches some flack, but mission accomplished. Round one, JW just looking to maintain his Kevlar vest, maybe even tap away at another head on his way out. Could be some Julies on the floor there. He might want to scoop those up, but Rush is the one contesting. Oh, JW is trapped now. So it's just a matter of how many can he take with them, making sure that the T-sided armor isn't carried across. And blame JW and Rush. They'll all go down. So that's going to mean that JW can't just invest into a scout and already have Kevlar. We'll have to rebuy right here if that's on the menu for Fnatic this evening. Of course, the force buy. Brolin the deagle with the smoke. No one else on the Fnatic side yet to buy. Yeah, but for complexity, everyone's kitted up. Galils, AKs, MAC-10s, everything they need. And there will be Fnatic following through with the pistol upgrades, armor, and the smoke. So Crims isn't getting head armor. He's actually left himself with $1,000. And JW's gone for a USP, a smoke, and a HE. So that's quite curious as well. JW wanting to get that AWP out early. That's why you haven't seen him fully invest. And, well, Nate's thrown from either side. More damage done to Golden. Blame will cop a little bit of it, but he's only got that MAC-10. And he had that Mac 10. Golden gets the better of him. Headshot through the smoke. And now quickly towards A, complexity go. <laughs> I swear if they win off the back of that. I swear. Config, though, has definitely had his cornflakes this morning. Hot today. He is. I reckon he, he wins any jewel he's given. Oh. oh, never mind. Brolin's just taking him out of the server. A deagle continues. The deagle journey for Fnatic. Fnatic rounds. Well, this is exactly what they look like. Well, this is a stalemate right here. There's a gap in that library smoke. CTs have dropped one of their own. They just have to stand and fight complexity. <laughs> There's two gap smokes. Two trying to rat. JKS isn't giving it to them, but he is so close and vulnerable to it. Especially as the smoke fades, he'll be hunted down. And that's a clean headshot. There you go. Golden continues. A double kill now. They're trying to pick up the pieces. A 2v4. Manos is poison and rush. Into the site they go, and it's another for Brolin. All onto one man. Rush has to clutch up. He's taken three, and it's Flusher from middle. Looking to save Complexity and dig them out of a very uncomfortable round. Flusher with a Mac 10. Rush doesn't have a clue. He's hoping that Flusher will walk around this smoke, and so he's actually just planted his feet. Up on the hay bale silently. Oh, he's been spotted. And Flusher catches him. Rush just in limbo. Didn't know where to look. Flusher uses that uncertainty to his benefit. And it's seven for the CTs. That is magnificent stuff from Flusher. But obviously the credit goes all over the shop. Golden getting two. Brolin peeking into the pit fight and finding a one deeg prior to his demise. I want to see this again. So these were fine. We saw Golden's POV. So that was Brolin's peak. He just managed to snip a poison just before Rush could get to him. Yeah, and I think the kill he got from Config was on that balcony, right? So fantastic shot there. As we were just saying, Config looking hot. Well, Brolin, he's got something to say. Is you look at the kill distribution for Fnatic, Crimson's on 11. You have three players, JW, Brolin, and Flusher all on eight, and then Golden down there on six. But it feels a lot more competitive than what the frag charts are saying. It was complexity. Look at Config, he has 20 kills. He's been going absolutely ham throughout this map. 
and it won't be the buy from Complexity. They've just gone into this one with the Glocks. Rush just <laughs> missing the jump, so sound cute. Yeah, even, even when he got the health in hand as well. Yeah. That's a brutal one. Crypto over, he didn't have his shoelaces done up. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Now, they're not waiting for all the utility to be lumped on out here. They're actually trying to find a pick, and that's an off angle. So Crims elevated on the balconies. They've actually squished into the Deagle. JKS tries his luck. Crims peeks away, peeks back in. Anyone else? They've taken top mid. He's going to dip on back, but this should be done and dusted. Three members remain. Brolin towards pit. This is uh, round number eight for Fnatic here. And look, I'm happy to say that with certainty. There is a world where Blaine kills everybody with a deagle. There's a Come start. On. Come on now. Yeah, config, his Glock. It's not really the threat. They just want to hope Blaine's deagle does it all. But he is but one man. Poison confirms the flank is coming in, but he's trying to keep it honest. Oh, good ding. <laughs> Hard fight for Blaine because it's a left eye peak and they've already backed off with those SMGs. So now back towards quad, see what he can find. I think they heard the jump of Crims there. They certainly did, but it does kind of mean that no one's looking graveyard. Oh Blaine's my God. done it again. Another deagle shot trying to bait the corner. He hits one bullet. Crims uh, does emerge with the four kills, but credit to Blaine for making something out of nothing there. It's good to see everybody sharp in the server today. Yeah, no doubt. Let's see that first one. Good. Oh, fudge. That's good. Good gaming. Doesn't even have a skin rush, because I think that was uh, Rush's initial deagle there that Blaine was able to pick up. Maybe I'll have to invest a bit in the print stream. I think that's the go-to deagle for everybody these days, but the go-to round as we get the buy back underway. Round number 19, 10 to 8 is the scoreline. AKs are out. Utility, a bit of a drama here. This might spell complexity taking things slower, but as I say that, Blaine wants banana control towards logs, now mounting on up. Trying to go for a bit of a cheeky headshot. He has to worry about nades, they're coming. It's a flash. He's completely blind. Blaine's gonna go down. Yeah, but not too much of an issue if Rush actually comes out on top, and he has. Flusher, pre-firing his own smoke. What a rascal. That's wild. You see that? You see what he did there to the Rush's brain? Yeah, the smoke's landing. No one's going to be here. Next minute, the bullets are coming through the smoke. Rushes has to readjust. Oh, and now we find ourselves in a three-on-three. Three. This is where was, I favor Fnatic. Yeah, that was such a perfect usage of everything he had there. A UMP and a smoke. He takes down the hardest hitter of this round from complexity. Rush cannot contribute anything else. They work on quad. And it is going to be JW who does manage to take JKS down and out. And a second perfect as Brolin puts the cherry on top. And Fnatic are looking practically indestructible. As soon as they got the weapons in their CT hands, so far we've seen three in a row. It was just a pistol success from Cole. Yeah, they're going to be kicking themselves up. We have Rush's out. death here. Oh, no. Oh, oh we got the kill. Yeah, that's, ex that's exactly what I'm talking about. Nonsense. Cheeky old flusher, isn't he? And there's Brolin with the org. So we do see org play from Brolin quite a bit. Yeah. Ooh, whoa. Headset yeah. off. All right, well. You want to be having your, your mouth on the mic when you're... Uh, Processing. Uh, I like Shox's method. What he does, as soon as he dies, he just mutes the mic and then keeps speaking. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Probably looks a bit weird when you're at land with him. Just talking to the void while you're trying to finish the round. Still, here we are. And Golden's confirmed that there's absolutely nothing to be concerned about here Should on Banana. Should we give Rush around? I know that he's chomping at the bit. I do need to pee. All right, Rush, you want to get involved? I'll let Hello. you two deal with this. All right, Rush, we're going to do this one. It's going to be mainly you. Um, All right, MC, uh, can you uh, take away the observing for me? Thank you very much. But yes, this is a deagle round. We saw Blame F with the deagles. I was trying to think of a cool way to link that together. B blaming, making the enemies say F, and now possibly some more kills coming in. Golden, though, with the MP9, going to pop some cash here, peek it in. Oh no, Ru Poison actually, oh. with the, uh, this is getting a bit out of hand, Chad. Now, two players left on the site, Brolin and JW. Brolin with the AUG, it's a pretty good gun. They are low too, so this is getting pretty, pretty dicey now, jumping out though. Looks like they're gonna get wrapped up. Brolin, doing pretty well. Look at that, what a beautiful 4K with the AUG. You love that gun, Chad. Yeah, I do, I like the line there, made them say F, that was that was good, Rush. Yeah, I was trying to think, it's you really- You uh, on that one or? Yeah, well, I'm not very good with words. I didn't do very well in uh, English studies. No good in the English. Got a D in English literature, so which basically means I can't read. Oh. Which isn't great news. I was devastated to find that out. But you've got the numbers one to t one to zero, right? Yeah, the numbers are okay. I was always okay in maths. Okay. I was held back by my teacher, but uh, I feel like I did all right. 
Yeah, and uh, you're even in the cadets. So let's get this one underway. Machine will be joining me momentarily. As it is going to be a bit of a change of pace. Crims down middle, barreling with that MP9. Flash is good and Poison, his woes continue. Crims onto Poison, that's the opening. And Rush, well, pants down, back turn. Had no idea that was possible. Blame will eventually find the trade, but JKS needs more. And straight into the arms of Golden, he goes. That's going to be another frag for Fnatic because they look to Poise the 11th. This is just Blame F and a one on three. No map control, literally limping out of T spawn with a minute and 20 left on the clock. That was a crazy change from Fnatic there as it has applied a lot of pressure onto Complexity who now look to the in-game leader, Blame. A minute and 10 to work with. Has a smoke and a Molotov. Isolated over towards the B bomb site will be that. Oh boy, Flusher. We've got Golden in pit, brawling over towards the arch side. But if Blame makes this kill and he keeps it clean, he can set himself up. He's been spotted now, so the rotation is a problem. Molotov towards Coffin, smoke towards CT. A plant would be nice, but as that Molotov dissipates, pressure will be applied. Fakes the plant, 44 seconds now. Flusher with a sound cue, betting him in. The rotation coming, all three members of Fnatic on the scene. Nade is good, 60 points of health remaining. And Blame, what can he do? He needs to find a frag and he needs to find it fast. Forced forward again, more utility. Pull now, Molotov's off all three. Coming through the Coffin's position. This could be Blame going absolutely monstrous. First delivered and Flusher will finish him off. 11 points of health. Diffusion will come through and that'll be the 11th round for Fnatic. Good stuff there as they handle complexity with a mean bit of aggression. Welcome back, Alex. Thank you. I had my second half of my brat first. Yeah, that's right. I do have my sausage left there too. Fully uh, fueled. So that round right there, just to catch you up and maybe any of the viewers who did miss it, it was Crims barreling down middle, taking a fight with an MP9, taking out Poison initially, who had an AK. You he's can been getting plenty of opening deaths as our Poison. Yeah, he's been struggling. So they need to kind of put some pep in his step because JKS, if you caught the opening segment of this series, said Poison, one of the deadliest players he's ever been in the server with. So if he can come alive... Could spell dramas for Fnatic here, but they have taken the lead in this one. Yeah, and I... <laughs> depending on how Inferno goes, of course, but I have very high expectations for Poison's Mirage, and we will guaranteed get to see that one. Inferno can be harder to ply your trade, of course, especially on that T side. It's where I would set my expectations a little lower for him, but he was quiet on the defense as well. I'm a bit worried about this Tiha because if Config starts to cool off now, he has a massive haul. Config's one of these players who I see go leaps and bounds very quickly up to 20 kills, and then he can cool off quite quickly yeah, after that. Sure. So if he's not able to, to find them openings and Poison is struggling and they don't even get the T side AWP operational, we have some issues. Blame not known for entry fragging, neither is JKS, and that leaves Rush to potentially be a martyr. But hold up, Flush has gone down. They did find an opening and they're straight on to B. Yeah, Config's actually gotten across the line of sight. He knows he's under threat. Oh, Huge. Config, that could not be better. Now they deploy the smoke with two players across already. The pacing's all skew whiff. They have a nade for the plant, but Config's not done. He's pushed all the way around construction. He eventually gets caught, but the bomb's down and he's taken two scalps already. Three in total for Fnatic to overcome. They've got just Brolin and JW's hearts beating. Perhaps even quickening in pace, as is the tick of that bomb. Nice find, but it costs him a great deal of health. JW, Rush is burning in that, but it doesn't Huge stop work. him. Okay, Config and Rush, two players you said would have to step it on up and both fill the feed. 11 for complexity, and that's their, I believe, first weapon round of this T-side. Yeah, and if we want to call it that, that was just like a partial investment with MAC-10s and P250s and very light utility. It was those nades towards the sandbag position where it all kicked off. And these two individuals, it will be Rush and Config, the ones I look to to find entry frags on the rifles. Poison on the AWP, sure, when he's set up. But like I said, Blamef and JKS, they're not going to be the ones that we're needing for complexity as far as entry frag jewels. They're the clutch factor. They're the ones coming in late. But if they can convert this one, they will break the money off Fnatic. You can see the GG dot bet odds still favoring complexity in this one with the scoreline tied up at 11-11. Config, you're in the way, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sound cue made. Uh, so there's no that's need two, to be silent about the two, jump anymore. Two out of two. <laughs> two out of two failures. We just said they don't play the map. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the, you just said they don't play the map, but we're sitting here staring at an 11-11 scoreline. That's true. Okay, well, MP9, Steagle, and then there's the AWP for JW and Brolin as we are a minute and 10 remaining in the round. Retooling towards middle and boiler. It looks like complexity have their eyes set on an A attack. Banana, it's completely under their control. 
They did it dry. And they got the dink, but it was through the wall. It doesn't mean anything. JW lives to fight another day. Config. He knows Brolin. He knows Fnatic. And it's Pit. Woof. A very small opportunity presents itself. Config does fire off the shot. Just a little shy of the mark, but... Confirm for presence. Oh, no. Gray screen. That cost Crim. Oh. oh, my God. He's going to get two of them. Just tap oh. it into the heads. Grims. Utter destruction on that smoke. They walk through it. Gray screened, and he makes it red. The round is over. JW confirms it. But, my God, everyone, every player from both sides is having their moments in the sunshine today. Uh, I tucked my lips right there because complexity, win pistol, lose to the four spike. They win a very key low by round, putting Fnatic on the nice edge of their economy, and then they limp through a smoke like this? You can just see these mid rounds from complexity on a map that they're not familiar with as far as their map pool goes. It, it looks shaky at best. They will be able to buy again. That was afforded to them with that low buy win that we had just two rounds ago. And Poison with the AWP shot goes missing. They know what they're up against now. Fnatic nades are good. More damage to Poison here. 45 needs to get out before any spam comes down through that smoke. And things are really starting to fall apart for Poison here. He's had a rough game. I don't know how many AWP kills he has, but it can't be many. I'm sure I could count it on one hand. Yeah, certainly. Crucial round. Crucial round. And... At the moment, it's a 3-2 split. Config and JKS are given the responsibility of selling this towards A and, of course, controlling that rotate. You want to stop Crims from feeling free to rotate to back up what the pressure mounts at B. Stack nades towards the boost. Nobody's home, but it will certainly get Crims a little cautious. And look at that. As he rotates off, do they just try and fill the gap? He's faked the sound cue. No one moves a muscle. That's the rotate. Pulls Crims over the second set. Now, I'd love a rush commitment, a full commitment, because that would have kept stopped Crims from running down Speedway right now. He's paused. Drop in the smoke does seem to confirm. Are they going mid to B? They are. One for one. And are starting the wrap now. Golden it's 15 seconds. Usher. This is mental. They are not going to have much time for these fights. Oh, Rush needed that. Ten. Nine. There's no time for eight. this. Seven, six, five, nope. four, no time. And they might even die after time here. That ah, I don't know what complexity we're hoping for there. That's such a strange approach to go for a mid to B with 22 seconds left on the clock. I mean, I, I think it's safe to assume that was a mid rounder. Or was that the plan all along? I, I mean, they, do, were I don't know. They, were, they were pulling crims around the map. But the smoke that they limped out as they went for that call was to a facilitator mid to B. Yeah, sure. But it looked like it always, they, they almost failed the arch smoke. Like someone yeah. just over, over wobbed it. I, I, I don't know. But okay. once again, complexity, wow. they're flubbing these rounds of where they're so close to just putting Fnatic on the back foot. 13 to 11 now, Fnatic. They're going to be grinning ear from ear, getting to play their best map. Sure, they didn't probably have preparation coming into this one here today. But complexity are a relatively unknown quantity with this edition of JKS regardless. Playing their own game, I know that's a cliche, but I'm sure that was the mantra for the squad coming in. Preparation, probably not oh, the name of the config. game. Give me that. Oh, wow. Perfect timing, Brolin. Couldn't have asked for more. They actually smoke it and push. And JW's been caught. Maybe that config Mac 10 has done it again. Brolin dropping his smoke defensively. He wants to play around it. He is being hunted down. He gets oh. them both. Oh, and the bomb's right in front of his nose. He's got a triple kill already, and the remaining two are coming straight towards his domain. Poison catching the golden rotate, so it is a 2v2. Brolin's opted to cower on the site. Flusher's locked out and trapped in the mini pit. Brolin, surely, as that smoke fades, is going to get caught by this Blame F graveyard position, and yeah. That's the punish. Flusher reveals he hasn't gone too far. He's down to 59. One bullet trying to time on the reload. Blaine gets it and complexity. Keep this game exciting. Not going to go double orb T side, but they'll take one. Yeah, double orb might be a little bit audacious when that's the first real impact we've seen Poison have with the oh, big green. Oh, moly. Look what that's done to Fnatic. Now, quick recap of the rounds that have preceded it. That round recap graphic would tell it better than I could, but... This is the product of the very spread out complexity victories and keeping them honest throughout.
two CT rounds, but sent to Peanut Town. Yeah, got nice. a handful of P250s. So it was it was a bit odd here of how we got here. I think this all kicked off with that tw round 22 where they won with the low buy, the Max 10s and the P250s onto B. That's where the financial downturn really started for Fnatic. And to be broken this late in the game, uh, it's not ideal. This is the most horrible time for a CT side to get broken. And, and next round, they're only going to be operating with that 1900 loss bonus as well. That will give enough for Brolin to potentially go back into that org and utility. I doubt we see JW on an AWP. I don't think they would want to prioritize that here, but this has to be a complexity round. This has to tie us up at 13-13. If they drop one like this, if they lose to the Deagle of Crims again, yikes. That's all I got. Ouch! Well, there's the Deagle of Crims again. Yeah, that does something, but it will be that B commit. In they go, Golden, oh, off the flash, but held nicely. Rush gets one, needs a second, but he hasn't managed to find Flusher. In fact, at great cost to his health. Now Brodden's no wild way. shots, hits Config through the smoke, just a wild spray. Not like this complexity. You deserve this one, you're working hard for it. Brodden wants to deny, he can't. And Crims, handed a 1v2 that I certainly wouldn't write him out of. I don't think he's ready to be written out yet either. Now, no kit does mean he's got a bit of a weird timer on this one, he's gonna have to Wait for that smoke to fade and then go for what he can only hope to be a 1D. No, now running out of options. He knows there's a second part of this puzzle. Five bullets left. Doesn't hit it. Does hit it and can oh. do it. Oh, wow. Poison saves it just by the skin of his teeth. And complexity seal the deal. Brolin worked so hard for that. Crims nearly converted what Brolin worked so hard for. Jesus, Joseph and Mary, these rounds are so tight and Fnatic are making complexity work every single round. Look at this second kill. Ah. Just AD, 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 spamming mouse one and grabs a headshot. How does he manage that one? Bullets from Poison eventually like land. so easily could have just fallen in Crimson's lap there. That's wild scenes. As at least Crimson has come to play today alongside of Brolin. Things from Fnatic looking good. 13-13. Deep banana smoke. Molotov to hold them at bay in a three-man B lean early from Fnatic. There was a doorway. It was the arch side of middle, but JW patrolling towards the top here with the big green of his own. No banana control for complexity within the early stages and Golden getting cheeky behind the half wall. Flashed on through, territory taken, and smoke is fading. He needs to be very careful. That was a great nade. So much damage done there. Roughly 100 of uh, Poison and Rush combined. So they don't have banana control. Config was in boiler, so they knew that at least boiler and halls in the close ranges are under there. Now, they're feigning brackets. JKS poked his head up, had a little look. Smoke towards the half wall will hold them at bay until roughly 30 seconds. So decisions have to be made for complexity now. Do we wait this out and go? We don't know what's on the other side. We have absolutely no idea. Oh, I want to walk through it so bad. Config does too. Edging. Edging further as it fades, just hoping to procedurally clear, and there's no one home. So with this three-man stack from Fnatic, it does bode very well for Cole. Will they have anything to drop? There is truly nothing. A single kit and their weapons separating them from this one. It's a crazy spray, and it's two quick frags. Cole have access to the site. And this should be a save call from Fnatic here. Makes sense. That loss bonus we were talking about previously only being nine, 1,900 even. Well, now it's only 2,400. So look at the residual cash right now for Crims, Brolin, Flusher, and Golden. All operating with $0 in the bank. 2,400 is all they'll get, and JW can only uh, muster 2,450. So it's likely that Brolin and maybe JW uh, wants to drop across SMGs or a Famous. That's going to allow Flusher and Golden to have somewhat of a buy. And I feel like they have to purchase. I, I feel like you can't just go into the next round here with an M4 and an AWP and, and go for a save. That would give complexity the 15th round on the board. The decision time for Fnatic here. They are operating with two timeouts remaining. Will they opt to take it? It looks like they're just happy to get this one back underway. Freeze time now. Eight seconds, seven seconds. The Fnatic fan cams, well, they're not 
crazy excited right now, but if they're able to pull this one out of the bag, around where they haven't invested, they didn't go all in. Interesting. So they're seeing if they can get it done with the saved rifles. It's just going to be a I mean, smoke for Golden. I would argue that I'd favor Fnatic if we got to overtime. So playing for 15, playing without the full investment, not putting all your chips into the avoiding of overtime. I can defend it. If they just walk out halls here with these three, look who's on the site. It's just Golden with a USP. Like, that's all he has to work with it's right now. He's jiggling, dropping a smoke. Here they come. USP Golden. Set and executed. Hey, a save again. It's clear. It's a save call again. You can't lose this rifle. You might. Defend the AWP. Flame F Duncan on Crims. It's two bodies dropped now. You really can't afford to lose any of these now. Looks like they might hang around to do some damage, at least with Flusher. He only has the MP9 that he scavenged from Crims's dead body, but JW and Brolin, they think better of hanging around. He's an AWP in middle. I'd love to see Flusher just try and uh, not necessarily take it, but I'm just trying to contest their exit with it. Rush has grabbed it and descends. Flame's actually hunting here. I was curious to see how far he was going to go. He was over there towards the chicken pit in middle. He's thinking better of it now. JKS. Ooh. Oh. To survive, Config will go down with that bomb blast, but they have enough money to work with here on both sides going into round number 29. Blame F gets rid of that. Galil has an AK-47. Poison back with the AWP, and we get a full still, buy for potential. I still just can't throw. believe that this has actually paid off to the point where they can convert this now. Yeah. Cole have Wild. picked Fnatic's... Well, okay, I need to correct myself. Cole have not picked it, but they have deliberately left it open. Uh, and that's the assumption we're making, because this is not one they have on record and are about to be taking Fnatic's pick against them. Or will they? Double orbs are out. JW. Flash has taken his to B. He's got Golden in support, and he wants to try. Oh, no, no armor. Look what those nades have done to him. He's a shadow of his former self. They might just go for a B execute quite early here. They have banana control straight away. They know that there's an AWP on the site. And with that in mind, if you could just set up and go for a B set piece with good utility usage, smokes and Molotovs galore. I don't hate it. Feels like they're still just talking through their options. It's very early in a round. It's something that uh, Yanko used to talk to me about back in the day. If you get banana control that early, a B execute could be very punishing, especially if you know they're playing a standard 2-3 setup. It's a fake over towards the B site. Golden mollied out of position. That's forced out a bit of their utility. Nothing really, though. I don't want to see this get down to a 30-second complexity mid-round. I don't want to see them go for picks with their body across the map. We have seen that approach from them earlier within this half, and it, it Fnatic, hasn't worked Fnatic out. Fnatic have still got three smokes, Chad. If they go B, they're locked out. They have to go A. They are postured for their utility, and they will be going... Chances for gray screens, though. JW was just re-smoked mid. They walk through it. No one's there to contest. But up long they go into the AWP of JW. Flashes. No problems with the first. He doesn't choose to re-peak. And they are deterred as well. They start to channel into Crims. JW's tucked in on the site as well. 20 seconds. The frags come in. Oh, but Config and JKS ain't done. That's the bomb on Config. Poison needs a frag. He hasn't got it. Config needs something. Oh, and JW, so precise. He even no-scopes him. What a magnificent quad kill. And the fragging don't stop. Neither will Complexity. They got one more shot at this. Taking Fnatic's pick away, but that is quite the, the announcement to deter anybody that wants to come to JW's site. Look how quick he finds JKS's head. Get out of here. Get out of my site. That's great stuff there, but you can see once again in these mid rounds, like they're setting up their execute and they're going in, but it's hard to have much conviction behind it. So Fnatic here, they are fending them off and they're one round away from taking this to overtime. It is their map choice, potentially baited into this one here, but I'm sure they have no dramas playing Inferno in overtime. MR3, 16K, Crims has been phenomenal. 25 for him and the other man, well, Config has been just as good. 28, an impact frags galore. This time, they will actually get the dismount quietly into the boiler room and Config's up early here. A minute 25, he goes through the face and he takes Crims down. Oh, and we'll trade. We find ourselves very quickly into a four on four with a minute 15 remaining utility now. Slowly being whittled out from Fnatic, but look how many smokes they're still holding on to, not needing to use them in the early stages whatsoever. Four remaining. Good point. This would be the time for Poison to get an entry, especially with the AWP. Smoke's Arch. 
to be a gap in that, surely. Nothing to be exploited. That does give them mid control. Rush actually recovering a smoke. You'll be happy with that. Two CTs on A. It's JW and Brolin. Pressure mounting as Rush, Poison, and even Blame are all starting to clear through CT. If they really want to go for the full wrap, oh god. Okay, they are. And Flush has missed his first. But Golden oh, the so damage! incredible double dink, long range spray has given him an advantage. Flush has even mollied one thanks to the help of Golden Spray. Ten uh -oh, seconds. Another miss from Flusher. They need to find him now and they haven't. Flusher finds the frag. They have to get the bomb down. It's going to overtime unless no to get the plan. plan. They can't. There's no time. And we're off to overtime, folks. Fnatic and complexity inseparable in regulation. We need to take a break. We'll be trying to pull these two apart. Wrestling on the playground after the break. Not our first overtime of the day, but it is for this series. Complexity and Fnatic duking it out. Config staring off into nothingness. A moment of reflection for Poison as they do best prepare to convert the curveball. The curveball being the map. Fnatic certainly no slouch on Inferno, but they were gifted it and obviously picked it. It's the first of the series. And Cole, well, they've impressed. They've managed to push it to a full 
15-15 tied heat. They even had the chance to throw the knockout blow. Couldn't quite cross the line, though. And I think our UI needs a refresh. Rushley, hit that button. Thank you, sir. All right, well, some problems here within the later stages from complexity, especially on the fuller gun rounds when it felt like they had everything they needed. Let's see if they can turn their fade around here or Fnatic will be sewing up map number one. Big oh. nade, big headshot, poison. He's having a rough map here and that's going to continue. JKS has also cooled off a bit. Yeah, well, you were concerned about Comfort cooling off and I, yeah. don't, I don't think I could really argue that he has, even though, yes, it's it, from 22 in the half to 29, I, I acknowledge he has, but the impact on that MAC-10 was enough to convince me that his half, he gave them enough him enough opportunity. Precisely. And operating at a number disadvantage here. Oh, look at the angle that Flush has been working with there, just on the very lip of that wood. Well, he scared them away from Banana, at least, so there's a minute on the clock. Go near it. Oh, Crimson's actually rotated on over here. It has a Flush set up, so Flusher can re-peak off of that and calls it clear. Crims will be able to get his trainers back on, head back towards a site. And this is where they're setting up for, I think a more direct hit from complexity. Might be the plan for overtime round one. Yeah, it certainly feels more direct. Wow, unloading his mag, Brolin. Bit like today's a call, cost him his life. They get two opening frags. Golden's still on the site though, and Rush is low, not low enough. He gets the frag and gets that bomb down. It's Crims on short, he's coming up. There he is. They do. Flush has joined him. And so this retake is a two-man army heading into the apartments. At least one of them. Crim's still lingering on the quad. Flush are opting for an elevated angle with an AWP as well. The flame's going around the world and he's just plucked Crim's out. He was not expecting the aggression. Oh, but Flusher, he ain't done. He's got a smoke. He's got the first and he's putting pressure onto Blame F. A fake. He's going to be forced to spray it. But no, he calls the bluff. Blame, you smart cookie. Completely calls Flush's bluff, and now running low on time. He has to hold it. And he's missed the shot as well. Blame F. I don't know what... I don't think uh, Flusher gave him a sound cue. No, the smoke. You can see the smoke right there. It didn't land directly on top of the bomb. I think there was a gap as Blame came around so the he corner. He just knifed straight away with no sound cue given. Yeah. I wonder if... I don't know if we'll get that from Blame's POV because there weren't oh, any shots fired. But you can see, I think there's a gap here on that, that right-hand side. Wow, well played, Blame. Really nice stuff. In the first round of overtime is oh. complexities, but it comes down to a 1v1. Desk slams galore. I remind you of the stakes of this one. European IEM Beijing does give you a direct invite to the Global Challenge. Another entry. Half a million dollars for the Global Challenge. Direct invite. Should you win this tournament? And we've already seen five versus four. Just having a quick look at Poison in terms of his opening deaths at the moment. Currently sitting at one and <laughs> ten gets away well they needed that poison one and ten in opening deaths that's nuts one and ten one i don't think I've, I've seen a stat that damning in a very long time oh hello brolin nice head can i have it can i have it yes he can jakey yes gets him even catching a glimpse of crims doing the dance doesn't stop him as the vision's restored he gets another three on three jumping out of the balcony that was risky cost rush his life still problems here jks fresh mag and a fresh frag golden's gone Crim's doing the dance on the box. Hasn't gone down. Oh. Spray is good. Nice from Blame. Chaos continues. He's still on the box. Finally gets knocked off his perch. And they've got so much time now. They do not need to rush this. The bomb's on the site already. Flusher, they know where he was. But he still has the line. He's recovered it safely. Oh, he does get the fight he was waiting for. Reveals he hasn't relocated too far, but you can see what that's done to Blame. Charges around the world to flank. Oh, Flusher. look at him go. Hello. Not the first time he's pulled that one off, but nice work. Double kill for both of them. JKS and Blame F. What a partnership this is developing into being. And yeah, other than Poison, every member of Complexity score their A game here. All in that 20 frag region, but the opening deaths are very damning stat. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it when I just brought it Sounds up. Sounds like it's bugged. One and 11? One and 10. 10. Yeah, opening jewels. One and 10. Yeah, yeah, yeesh. Uh, that, I, I, I'm going to have to go back and check the stat lines after this one's over and not, done. It's but, not too hard to believe. Yeah, he has been having a rough time of it, but they are still winning here in overtime. 17 to 15. Poison again. He's not giving up, and I like it. I like the fact that he's not dropping the AWP. He's not backing down from the fights, but once more, he's been forced away. Nades are good. Oh. Damage is done. He is so low. Flusher They're coming. Him. 
Flusher wants him so bad, but Rush babysits. Poison's oh, Molly's caught, and the B site is wide open, and they know it. They're charging. They ain't stopping. JW stops JKS in his tracks, but they have the site. Wow, this is a very strange and rather unusual set of circumstances. The full B 3v3, a retake scenario Could for Fnatic, but Liv had full time to set up. Is that a deep smoke? It is. And only one. They've separated them from the pack. It's perfect. What an isolating smoke. It put Crims on an island. And it's enabled them to have a man advantage now for the rest of this retake. There is util on Brolin. Making plenty of noise about it. Rush on the trees. He is the sacrificial lamb. On Rush's death, the awful peak. Oh, no death for Rush. It's frags. A quad kill and 18. Cole do manage to secure it. And now one round away. A flawless side half of overtime. Well, it didn't start very well for them in this one. Here losing both opening deaths of the first two rounds. And this time, Impanana able to fight, able to win. And with that pace, and oh, especially hype. that smoke, that was the key to success right there. So only one more round for complexity now. And the CT side have everything they need. Utility galore, diffuse kits are coming on in. As both sides will get the force by on the MR 316K, but it's a clean sheet required for Fnatic on the T side. And Config's going for that play again, so dropping that Molotov, it must be a sound cue, trying to bait them into their default towards Halls and Boiler a little bit quicker, and he's getting what he wished for, but he's looking the wrong way. Yeah, mollied out. Brolin goes for the wall bang, but it is an exchange of utility all the same, and Config definitely a high alert. Poison could find Flusher here. Oh, but another again, one. Left eye peak into the T's. Falls flat of the mark. Have to overcome this then. Nade could be good onto Brolin's toes and does chip away at a good bit of health. Oh, and more where that came from as well. Rush. Chris. Config, what? Config gets three. We only caught the tail end. But a full unload of his mag. Nine bullets to spare. There is one on balcony. And he's hunting for JW. Give this him the nuts. ace. He is insatiable. Give him the USP frag for all I care. It is just Crims. They don't know where he is. He's opted for the orb and does lose his life. Now Crims presented with a one versus three. He could dunk him. It's good. Rush is low. And he's down a 1v2 now. Slowly making something out of nothing. Crims on match point or rather map point against him. He needs to pick up the bomb. He's been given the freedom to do so. JKS though is patrolling in the balcony area. It will be hard to plant default with JKS as he currently positioned. Crims needs to answer some questions, and he's not such little time to do it. Loud, heading into the site. Nine seconds, he does it just in time. Oh, my God. He hits it, and he's got time to plant as well. This is phenomenal gaming. 1v4 from Crims, and there's only one more on it. Blame F, hunting him down, oh but he's got God. the precision. That reaction onto JKS is something else. He is something else. King of Kings on his neck and he's breaking necks. What a start oh. was for Config, but Crims does one better. What a game. Look at this, he dunks on Rush. That was amazing turnaround. Enough shots towards Library to convince JKS it was safe. Ay, 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 a smirk creeps onto his face. He knows what he's done. That was insane. Crims and Config are standing toe to toe right Jesus now and it is Christmas. just an absolute slugfest. That is too insane. 4Ks in the same round. That spray control from Config was absolutely nuts. Not enough, Chad. Not enough when Crimson's is in the server. Oh, okay. Well, it's gaming. It's absolutely video gaming. Competitive video gaming, to be specific. Oh, boy. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, that, that was a chance for Cole. A, <sighs> a great a, chance. A great chance, <laughs> you could say. Four versus one. Well, there's a start. Poison, not the first to fall this time. Blame F finds Flush up through the smoke, and now it's Fnatic on the back foot again. <laughs> they need to get mid control right now because Banana's definitely not under their guys. Nade up mid, Poison under pressure. A, they go towards Arches where they're peering. I don't like oh. this. He's caught again. Poison's really not up to snuff today. Fnatic have got his number. Looking to boost over the smoke or... Oh, wow, Blame. Two through a smoke yeah, from Blame. He might even find another. He knows there's another because he, he was jumping for the boost. He thinks they missed it. He's not wrong. Brolin caught from behind. It looks like Cole have got this one in the bag unless... Not again. Not again. Config locks it down. 36 frags to the end of that for the Dane. And Cole have taken Fnatic's map. Inferno. 
the first one on record, and it's a win against Fnatic here at IEM Beijing.